Hello, everyone. Welcome to Awkward Conversations. We are Seth and Sondra Dunn, and uh, we are coming to you today with another topic that uh, could potentially get awkward. So <laughs> we're going to dive in the middle of that. We uh, we choose these topics, and um, you, you may or may not know this, but we don't prep together. We choose a topic, and then we prep individually, and, uh, and then we bring our viewpoints, and we're trying to choose topics, right, that are mm -hmm. things that are worth talking about, you know, things that maybe we're not hearing a lot about out there, uh, whether it's in the church world or just in culture in general, and uh, bring those things up. And uh, it might be awkward between us. I'm not sure this one today will be, but it's definitely awkward in our culture for sure. Yes. And who knows? Yes. We may find some awkward points between us. You never know. <laughs> I always like it when we do. I do too. <laughs> Makes it fun. I think you like it too, from what we see. A lot of people watching these videos. We really appreciate it. Thank you mm -hmm. for watching. Thanks for participating with us. And uh, it's a joy. Your so. comments, whether that's in person <laughs> or online, are fun to yeah. see as well. So yeah. We should right. dive in. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about citizenship, which I suppose that doesn't sound very awkward, maybe, you know? I mean, I just think it's unusual. People don't mm. talk about citizenship. Yeah. Like, that's not a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of not, and I think it should be. Um, so just to kind of set the stage a little bit, and unless you feel like you need to set the stage differently okay. <laughs> than what I do... Citizenship, you could look at in terms of, um, you know, we live in the United States. We are citizens of the United States. That's probably true for a lot of you watching, but not everybody. Um, some of you are, <clears throat> excuse me, citizens of other countries. So there's that application of citizenship, mm -hmm. right? But there's also um, the application of we're citizens of heaven, of the kingdom of God, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there's probably other ways you could apply it, but those were the two that I kind of took it as. Yeah. Right. And I think it's. <laughs> This is a good season to talk about citizenship simply because of we have upcoming elections. We have in the U.S. just anyway. yeah, we have just <clears throat> celebrated July 4th, Independence Day. Yeah. And I think so. We've yeah. been talking about this anyway, and it just made sense to go ahead and say, OK, let's let's talk about this for one of our awkward conversations, because I feel like. No, most people don't even stop and think about think you're right. citizenship <clears throat> and, yeah. and don't even, it's not on their radar at right. all. So there's no good thoughts, bad thoughts, nothing like there's no thoughts about it because mm -hmm. it's just yeah. not on the radar. So yeah. I felt like it was a good topic to bring to attention. Mm -hmm. Your point is, is, is a good one because I think we do occasionally hear the term good citizen, bad citizen, right? Sure. But it just doesn't go to any depth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not, it's just not talked about. Yeah. And I think, um, so if, if I think of it in terms of being a citizen of the United States, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a couple comments here, but they're more concepts. Um, I, I don't want you to think specifically of me as a citizen of the U S but just the concept of how this could apply in, in numerous places. Cause like to be a faithful citizen means that I'm participating in the culture, I'm participating in um, the, in this case, the United States and in making it a great place to live. Now, so that's a little vague what I just mm -hmm. said. So let me, let me get specific. I think being a good citizen means you care about other people. You're not just focused on yourself, but you care about what I do. How does it impact other people? So as a faithful, good citizen, I am looking out for people. So like, for example, let's say that I notice something in my community that isn't working well or is broken or is lacking, whatever it might be. I can look at that and I can complain and I can gripe and I can expect, you know, I can say things like, I wish, I wish you know, the government would do something about that. Or as a citizen, I can look at that thing and say, you know what? People are suffering for this whatever that lack I've seen is and set about trying to find a solution and, mm -hmm. and engaging other people and saying, how could we fix this? What could we do? That's citizenship. And I feel like that's getting lost yeah. in, in us as a country, as a culture. And I hate to even say this, but I think it's even lost among a lot of Christians. Yeah, for sure. In I their think, Christian walk and journey. And I think too, I was, Seth and I were talking about this the other day just in general, we weren't discussing it a lot. And mostly cause I was really, it was morning and I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh. but 
in, in discussing this, I said, one of the things that's hard for me in discussing this is I don't want to talk about this because I'm not doing it. <laughs> and I have a hard time like yes. preaching something that I'm not doing. Right. And I was thinking about, um, what it looks like to see a need in your community and fulfill that need. And as I was thinking about it, I was like, well, I am doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it with awkward conversations, video yeah. shoot. I'm yeah. doing it by reaching out, ministering to people like mm -hmm. um, friends, yeah. acquaintances, you know, I'm talking about Jesus, etc. So I am doing it. And I thought of that, you know, afterwards. Yeah, that's a good point. I am, but not in the sense of like, I think in my mind, we have this, political scene mm -hmm. and then we have our day-to-day -day scene and I think understanding that it's important to see what your community needs and to give to that community yeah the way that you're built the way that you That's are really geared good. Mm -hmm. and so what does that mean then like for mm -hmm. my community what do I see that I could be serving in now it's not that I never have for a right. while I was a victim's advocate with the police department um and of course, we've done some stuff with the food bank and helping get yeah. meals out to people limitedly. But right. still, yeah. we've done that. Done some. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I think I'm, I, I just want to mm -hmm. say up front, this point. is a hard topic for me because yeah. I'm still navigating mm -hmm. how how am I doing this? How do I yeah. do this in my community? Mm -hmm. um, there was a period of time where I was, I'm just I am I get so frustrated mm -hmm. with politics and so frustrated with the way things are. Right. And I feel like I'm powerless. And I know that's not true. I am powerful, right. so what can I do? But it is mm -hmm. difficult because I find myself going, well, I can pray and I can vote, and then what? You right. know, um, right. anything else that I go to do, say I decide I'm gonna focus on the homeless, mm -hmm. or I'm gonna focus on kids who are in the foster system, or I'm gonna focus on whatever those other things are, that can become a full-time job can become a full-time thing. Right. And so it's hard trying to be a good citizen is hard right. to know what to do, how to do that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of what makes this awkward for me is like, I don't know. Right. I know what it means to love people. I know what it means to be a good citizen in the way of being kind mm -hmm. and helpful. But what does that mean as far as seeing a need in my community and trying to help fill that? Yeah. And I we are doing that with church. We are doing that yeah. with um, videos that right. we do, etc. Yeah, but it, I don't know. Well, it, it's yeah. a weird space for me. Well, and it is for me too. In fact, we we actually thought about not even doing this topic because we don't necessarily have the solution, right? So we're not right. really coming today necessarily to to give you the solution as much as to inspire some thought mm -hmm. because this is a that's an interesting thought because it's a bit of an awkward thing for us internally not between mm -hmm. us but but I would agree with her yeah. in that I have struggled yeah. with knowing how how do I engage in this how do mm -hmm. I care for enough for other people people that are in my community mm -hmm. um and and let me say this too I'm thinking about what you just unpacked remove it from politics Mm -hmm. You know, don't think about, I, I'm not saying that being a good citizen, you're not engaged in politics. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that a lot of what we do as a good citizen has nothing to do with politics. Right. It can have some, yeah. but a lot of it has nothing to do. It's just being engaged and involved in, in people. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you can't have a community. Yeah. You can't have a group of citizens <laughs> unless there's people. <laughs> right. Right. I heard, and I don't know if this is a great um, analogy because it's it's kind of big and not all not all of the things we do as a citizen need to be big but we have a, a small community it's it's the town that's closest to us um, it's not very big I, I would have to pull up the stats because in Colorado everything all population uh, numbers have gone up but mm -hmm. I don't know it might be a town of 10,000 maybe a few more than that mm -hmm. by now there in that town we have a community center which includes um, a, a, um, a lot of things. It's got meeting rooms. It's got a swimming pool. It's got a workout gym. It's, it's got basketball courts. It's got, um, baseball pickle fields, pickleball. Mm -hmm. It's got all kinds of stuff that for the community to use. Oh, yeah. And it's like world-class. Mm -hmm. Like I heard recently, we have a nephew actually that works up there. He was telling me they went recently to, um, some meetings in Colorado Springs, which is huge in comparison. It's like the second yeah. biggest city in yeah. Colorado, I think, or third, but it's 
it's huge. They went down to share with a similar type facility in Colorado Springs, what they do and how they do it, what their facility is, because it's so much better than the one in Colorado Springs. Well, then I heard the whole reason it's theirs because there was one citizen in this little town that decided, I want my community to have this. She was the advocate that made it happen. Yeah. And I've heard it said that if she hadn't driven it, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. And I just thought, okay, well, that's an interesting view of citizenship. Yeah. And it's a huge benefit and value, mm -hmm. right? It's not even, nothing wrong with helping the homeless and kids that are underprivileged, but we're even right. talking about just making life nice. Making life better. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. I think, you know, I was thinking about this. When we talk about good citizenship, we can see what it's like to be a good citizen when we look at, I'm going to caveat this. <laughs> it should be that we can see what a good citizen is when we look at Christians. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. It's not that way. <laughs> but Christians who love God and love people Mm -hmm. are service focused. They are focused on yeah. making life better for themselves as well as for those around them. Mm -hmm. And so to me, like being a good citizen would look like being a good Christian, because essentially mm. what you're doing is loving others yeah. and putting yeah, them I, first. Uh -huh. And I don't mean first over yourself in that you drain yourself and hurt yourself and no, but you damage yeah. yourself for the good of them. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying you understand that you are servant of all that you get mm -hmm. to be leader of all yeah. by being a servant of all by yeah. serving and loving others. That is what makes a good mm -hmm. citizen. And I, it's just interesting to me because you think about in the kingdom of heaven, our citizenship comes at loving others, loving God. Yeah. And in a healthy, balanced way, mm -hmm. laying down our lives right. for others, right. serving others. Yeah. That is what it would be it, to be a good citizen. It, it is. And so then how do, how do I personally do that? Yeah. And what does that look like for right. me? And I, I love this line of thought because sure, you could run for city council. You could be on the school mm -hmm. board. You could be a state senator or, a, or, or a run for a national office. You could yeah. do all of those things. And that's what we tend to think of if we're going to engage in citizenship. Sure. But how about just being a, a good business owner? And, and running a business in your community. And okay, it's great if, if one of your goals absolutely should be to make some money for your family, <laughs> right? Right. But how about if your heart also is just for your community? I want to provide a business that blesses my community, yeah. right? And I'm looking out for, I mean, we, I mean, a church should be the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. You should be looking to feed into people's lives from a spiritual community, a, mm -hmm. a kingdom of heaven focus, but also to be of value and benefit to those around us, whether they attend our church or not. Right. Right. Yeah. So whether they come to my business or not, you know, and there are business owners out there that are just greedy and, and, you know, they're not a help to the community because they're, they're very self-focused. Mm -hmm. So kind of to go back to what you were saying, it's good and okay for your life to benefit from these pursuits, but it's also good to have other people's lives benefit mm -hmm. from those pursuits. That's being a good citizen. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's, it's the idea of, Leaving the place better than you found it. Yeah. Right? Right. I want to yeah. go into somebody's home. I want to leave it better than I found it. Right. I want to, yeah. when I go into my church, I want to leave mm -hmm. it better than what I found it. Mm -hmm. I think it is um, a big part of being a good citizen happens when we are intentional. And That's this is so the true. problem. Like most of the time, we just th 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 through life, yeah. you know, we just like robot it out or yeah. we just like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. whatever like right we're, we that don't is so good huh? we're not intentional yeah, right and i think that is a huge part of um it's a huge part of good citizenship but it's a huge part of being um a good human yeah. like bottom line if you yeah. want to be a good human and have a good life it requires intentionality right it requires choosing things when it's not always what you want to do <laughs> yeah. when it's not always easy mm -hmm. and i think that's yeah. part of it is we just dink around and we just go through the day and we just mm -hmm. get through life. However, yeah. and we're not actually being intentional right. in our choices. That's so true. And so I think that the challenge, a big piece of the challenge we're laying out before you is the one we're laying out mm -hmm. between 
between ourselves, but I also think there's an element of you and I, we're kind of holding each other. We're having dialogue. Yeah. So there's an element of it. So for us Mm -hmm. as a couple, but also us individually, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. What does this look like? OFC. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And in our business endeavors, are we, how are Mm -hmm. we benefiting? Are there other ways we could benefit the, 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 the culture and the, and the community. So for you, I think that's part of the challenge we're laying out is if you thought about this, are you just going through your days and just, you know, you know, just whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever happens, happens, say yeah. la vie, right? <laughs> or are you saying, I'm going to engage with purpose and meaning and I'm going to be looking for and watching. I was even just now just thinking as you were dialoguing on that, I was thinking even simple things like our local McDonald's, if I walk in there to get a breakfast sandwich, Sandwich, I should leave the place better mm-hmm. than than when I arrived. Mm-hmm. Well, how do I do that? One of the things would could, could be, you know, the person who hands me that breakfast sandwich, smile at them, <laughs> thank them for what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Right, that leaves that place better. Mm-hmm. I also think if I go in and use that restroom, <laughs> what if the sink's a little messy? I can, I can, yeah. yeah, I can say, oh, those employees, they need to get after this. Or I could simply wipe it down and leave There's it a little trash on the store. You could pick, pick it up, up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Put your grocery cart away. Like, yeah. yeah. I know these are simple, they, they basic are. things, but yeah. it is part of yeah. being a good citizen. It is. And I will say this too. I think you can be a good citizen with a bad attitude and a good citizen with a good attitude. Uh, we were watching a show. I'm not going to tell you what it was because I'm not going to publicize that show because the dude on it is a big jerk. I won't tell you what I called him personally, but we were oh, watching no. this show. Uh, it was about uh, flipping a house and this guy is, he is a jerk to his employees. Like, I, oh, I'm like, I know what show you meant. He's trying to, uh, make this house nicer, right. but he's got such a bad attitude while he's doing it oh, that he's man. damaging yeah. his workers. He's damaging his contractors because yeah. he's such a jerk to them because he's so bent on getting the thing done and the almighty dollar <laughs> and making it look good. And in this amount of time, and he just, oh, I could only watch one episode because I was like, this guy, <laughs> no, like, but it yeah. makes me think about like, yeah. he is leaving it better than he found it. <clears throat> yeah. But with a terrible but with a horrible attitude, attitude. So that's not as good well as with harming all of his contractors. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah I just think yeah. being a good citizen with a good attitude, not Oh, there's trash on the ground. Well, now I have to pick it up because I'm going to be a good citizen. <laughs> You're right. No, like it doesn't no. work like that. You pick up the trash yeah. because it's important that you help leave the place right. better than you found it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're giving some ideas out here and so forth, of man. But like we said a minute ago, I wouldn't even pretend to say I have all the solutions. We're navigating. We are. Mm-hmm. I would, though, point out two things. First of all, there's a thing called the Bible. <laughs> there is a lot of good, mm-hmm. good instruction. Yeah. I mean, if you don't know where else to go, go to Proverbs and just read through. Oh my goodness, there are some amazing um, sources or, or thoughts of wisdom there mm-hmm. that would apply to being a good citizen. Mm-hmm. The other thing I'm, 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 I'm hesitant here only because I don't don't read this as like some massive significant endorsement because I don't really know this organization that well. But there's there's a, an organization called Hillsdale College. I hope I'm getting that right. I don't think it's university. I believe it's Hillsdale College. Mm-hmm. They have some free courses. One of them is a course on citizenship and there's a lot of good stuff in it. So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, wow, I want to navigate this too, but I don't even know where to, where to start. I would say first and foremost, go to your Bible and just start learning. Mm-hmm. You know, God gives us all kinds of ideas on what it means to be a, a, a citizen of, of not only this life, but also mm-hmm. a citizen of heaven. Right. And then that Hillsdale course, I'm only, I don't know, fourth of the way through it probably, but I've already mm-hmm. received, you know, some things that have been helpful to me about citizenship. Mm-hmm. Um, I will tell you they're talking largely specifically about U.S. citizenship. So just be aware of that if you're from another country mm-hmm. or whatever. There's still some really good points in there as to what citizenship yes. is and and how it's really largely died in our country. And mm-hmm. I've kind of thought, oh, wow, as they're unpacking it, I'm kind of like, yeah, it kind of has. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I've not really been taught along these lines. So I'm stirring that in me and learning and growing. And, and hopefully stirring it in you. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. You know, we brought this topic a little bit hesitantly because we don't feel like we have it all together by any means. But I think we both would say to you, it's important. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're bringing it. And it's a little awkward because it's going to cost you something. It's going to require something of you. And it's probably very likely something you've not even thought about. Yeah. So that's a little potentially awkward. Um, but I know you could be a huge blessing. And that's why we bring it up. Yeah. 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 So is that kind of, is that it? Yeah, Do you have other I think thoughts? That's it. Or? Okay. I just feel like, you know, let's be yeah. intentional and let's yeah. leave it's the really place good. better than we find it. Yeah. Uh, live your life such that you're not yeah. wasting your breath, just yep. sailing through the day, yep. but that you're choosing to, to participate right. intentionally, yeah. adapt, so good. adjust, give. Yeah. Um, that's part of being a healthy human. Yeah. Being yeah. a citizen. Well, so there you go. I hope that stirred something in you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we love bringing you these videos and uh, we, it wouldn't be any point if they weren't watching. So I'm right. really glad you're watching. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please, hey, ring that bell so you get notifications and like us, please. We <laughs> wanna keep bringing these videos to you. So like us, please.